Hey YouTube, Kid Zippo, how you doing? Um, we're gonna do a little experimenting today. Because if you remember on that uh, PSA lower I bought, I put it on my uh, BSA or BCA upper, and has a little problem. Now, as you can see, no mag. Nothing. Oh. There we go. Got it now. See, empty, empty, nothing in the chamber. But, now you remember the problem that I have with this PSA lower. Okay? Watch. That's a problem. Now, It's no big deal, but I take this hunting, okay? I took it hunting last year, and this is the scope I had problem with, you know. Okay. And, well, the other scope I had problem with that, too. So, we're going to be switching optics on everything. And uh, if I have enough time in the video today, I'll be switching this out for that uh, red dot reflex sight or whatever you want to call it. But this is the main reason I'm doing anything like this today. So, pop my pins. Where's that? There you go. Um, let's see. Screwdriver. There we go. Come on. You come out farther than that, I know. Alright, now. Take that, set it off to the side. We're going to take the upper off my diamond back. And do the same thing with it. Switch it out, put it on the other one. And put the lower from this one onto that one. See what happens. Okay, now. Oh, just in case, got a new buttstock. Has a pretty good cheek weld on it, you know, better than these old uh, Blackhawk style. But, uh, yeah, it, it's nice. I got it uh, for, it was on sale from ExtremeTactical.com. Um, I think I got it for like seven bucks with the recoil pad. So, ah. Anyway, all right, this is uh, the one, the diamond back. Are you in there? No. There. Now, let's see what this says. Oh. Ooh, maybe it's a bolt carrier. Or maybe I need an enhanced. Oh, okay. See what this one says. Wow, maybe it's just a design flaw, because that shouldn't happen on either of them. Because this is uh, the Diamondback upper with the PSA, or no. Yeah, Diamondback upper with the PSA lower. Oh, see, no, I had to hit it a few times for it to work there. Huh. I don't like that fit anyway. But it's not like I'm going to switch it around any. 
Okay. Maybe I need uh, enhanced on both of them. You know, and bolt open, you know, hold open, or bolt release, whatever you want to call them. See, I'm not hitting it that hard. But, huh. Now, y'all saw it the first time, right? It's not just me. I mean, ha, ah, look at that. I wonder what that is. Let's see, it doesn't do it every time. But, alright. So let's take these apart. And, there we go. Alright. Now, I don't have my light, but I really wish I did. But uh, I don't see any marring on the bolt hold open, bolt release, or you know, whatever. Huh. I don't even see any marks. Check this. Huh, I should check the face of that. Not just the edge. No, nothing. Just a little grease spot there. That's it. Huh. Interesting. Now, it would be helpful if I actually knew where these were supposed to be catching on there. So, you figure right about there somewhere. And I don't see anything on there. Alright, <clears throat> now that I'm done fumbling with that, let's take a look at this one. Oop, oop, oop. Um, if you notice, I have a little, uh, reflex sight here. It's just a little pinty, okay? It's 12 or $13, or whatever it was, on eBay, so. I didn't go and spend $40 for a, you know. Oh, get back in there. Because, you know, I'm not doing that. I'm not spending high money for any of that. Yeah, see, this has got the same kind of cutout. And I don't see anything. So maybe it's just a design flaw, like I said before. I don't know. But it bothers me. It bothers the hell out of me. That. Okay. Come on. What the hell? Again, you did that. Why? All right, right Diamondback. Yeah, I never did check to see if it did it on this one. Oh, somehow that got pushed back in there. Alright, so you hit it hard enough, she's going to slam on you. Or maybe it's just, these are not high-end ARs. See? Okay, I never tried that before on this. I, I am really kind of shocked. Uh, okay, well, I don't have a whole lot of time to talk to you about anything else. So, uh, I was going to mount this... Uh, 
reflux sculpt. So I'm going to have to go ahead and make another video to do that because there's a couple other things I want to talk about. Um, I got a new optic from uh, extremetactical.com. That was on sale too for $40. Um, then I'm going to give you the update because I finally got all the ammunition in. The update on my uh, accuracy test to see what this likes to shoot the best, you know, um, weight wise, anyway. I'm hoping it really loves that uh, 223 stuff. Because that's all steel and cheap. And I think it's all Tula, too. So, But, uh, yeah. Um, took compensator off it. Free-floated the barrel. New buttstock. And I really like this buttstock. I mean... Oh, God, this is nice. It's got a little bit of class to it. And I really like the reach because it comes right to where I need it. I mean, this is perfect, especially with this reflex on here. Perfect. All right. Well, ah, there we go. That didn't solve anything. I'll have to look into uh, getting a couple of... Uh, um, enhanced um, bolt releases and uh, we'll have to see if uh, you know it's the actual paddle inside that's enhanced or if it's just a lower button on the outside but until then uh, it, you know it's only February stay warm watch your Dragon Ball because I am and hey be good to each other Peace. We're out. Hey, I almost forgot. Pick up your brass. <laughs>